Assalamu alaikum. How are you guys? Welcome back to my uh, how to install or um, use Jasper Studio third part. Uh, second part we already completed uh, in uh, my previous video. So in this part uh, I would like to show you how to uh, complete our design part uh, which uh, we already uh, got in our data source. Uh, and uh, if you if we click here we will see the data source or query which uh, we already provide in our uh, jasper report just uh, read field uh, we will get the <coughs> field here uh, so one thing uh, you need to know uh, this is the very much important uh, and interesting also uh, those who are uh, expert in java uh, also in sql you will uh, have the better opportunity to um, maintain your uh, columns uh, class types using the Java here uh, in, uh, I I don't know the things uh, previously before we uh, or I use uh, Jasper studio this is the most important things cause uh, I just uh, use various types of uh, uh, Java uh, utility functions or something else uh, in my columns uh, which are uh, genuinely exported from SQL query so uh, just we will uh, see that or uh, learn that later uh, first of all we win we need to design complete our design part to uh, see the um, uh, our, our uh, report uh, graphically okay so uh, first of all I just go to a field then I select all the field uh, then just uh, drag it and uh, put it in uh, details pen okay so one thing see you should uh, you should know then uh, there are several part okay first part is title then page header then column header then details detail one or multiple detail you can ha uh, have or you can use then column footer then page footer and summary and what is that exactly uh, first of all titles uh, title is that uh, where uh, you can put uh, your report name or a report title here so I just uh, take a uh, p uh, take a static text uh, pa from palette here then I just put it here uh, you will see that uh, a static text uh, panel is appear here will appear here so uh, I have this and uh, I drag it to the start to end of my uh, margin okay uh, I just uh, named it uh, personnel personal information okay in for mission okay and uh, uh, I would like to uh, center it and uh, bold it and uh, uh, would like to um, uh, bigger in size uh, and then uh, I just uh, uh, center it horizontally so then uh, page header I don't need it so I just put on select it and press delete button then it will uh, delete from here and uh, you can see it's some heading here uh, it is nothing uh, just like boilerplate of those columns and uh, this is the this come from the default column names uh, just uh, these columns name okay uh, if you wish you can change it okay you can change suppose uh, uh, if I would like to tell it as uh, personal ID both of or sparse ID without underscore then I can do that then personal name I just uh, rename it as name uh, then for salary I just uh, name it only salary then I just uh, name it gender uh, column name so I just uh, name it gender uh, similar way I can uh, rename all of this so uh, I just uh, um, remove this underscore and uh, rename it as blood growth okay then uh, I have some empty space here I would like to remove it then I just uh, click on uh, I just uh, hovering my mouse here and double click on it and then you will see that uh, the space is already abolish so uh, I, I have some empty space in b mm, below so I just uh, drag it and uh, fix it uh, nearly to my uh, to my columns fields okay then I will hit uh, on column footer delete it and page footer delete it if you would like to uh, remain 
retain it you can uh, you can take it otherwise you can delete it okay just uh, I also delete summary so I just uh, I will paste control s for save my report then I hit preview uh, you will see that uh, the report will generated okay how fantastic it is uh, this uh, this uh, so much fantastic for me because uh, this is the most easiest way I have uh, found in Jasper reports because uh, I am the developer of Oracle developer suit and Oracle RDF reports also also uh, those who are subscribed my channel uh, previously you will check you will uh, got the RDF reports uh, but uh, there was so uh, tough and uh, the, the design pattern or layout is uh, so much critical and uh, lot of times consuming that's why uh, I I prefer the jazz by studio because uh, the report building here is too much easy and other things um, if you would like to ask uh, that how I put the uh, put the margin or something else here so I just uh, go go there again and then I will select a lot of all the fields here just uh, I select all of the fields then I just um, select on borders then if I place all borders then uh, select this also just I mark it and uh, uh, again I select on borders uh, select all borders then select this and uh, select uh, all borders so uh, I'll save it control s then I hit on preview then you will see that uh, there is some um, um, s uh, some border appear here so there are some gap also so if I uh, would like to fix these gaps uh, just go to design again and zoom it okay just use this zoom button and uh, you will see there is some gap okay just double click on it and it will remove and uh, just uh, control Z then click here and uh, press again you will see uh, the space will disappear so I will press again then you also have uh, some space here so again go to design and then fine tuning and you will hope I will I hope you will fix that too so this is the simple reports uh, I have designed in uh, Jasper Studio. Uh, I also um, uh, can design using parameters, parameterized reports. Uh, so if any any guys anyone would like to see the parameterized reports, uh, please uh, comments uh, comments in my video. Put comments in my video and ask me. I will provide the solution here and uh, this is the most shortest way of uh, report development now I would like to show you another things uh, I already designed this report and uh, set the layout and everything is perfect and uh, now how can I use it uh, from Jasper report server uh, from G Jasper report server to any another application just like Apex or anything else so uh, first of all uh, we need to uh, publish this report uh, uh, into our Jasper report server then we can call the report from there okay so uh, so now um, uh, uh, I, I would like to uh, do that so go to design panel again uh, and uh, just uh, hit on compile compile reports then you will see uh, there is uh, uh, two files already generated first one is a uh, person for uh, person rescue info dot gr xml and uh, another uh, is the dot jasper okay now uh, our report compilation is okay there is no error present uh, so now I would like to publish in our jasper report server just click on this uh, button uh, you will see the jasper report server pro panel here so this is uh, not ex exactly what I want because of uh, this appear cause uh, uh, I just you uh, I used Jasper report server pro previously pro version and uh, now we use our Jasper reports community edition so I just click on this and uh, we will get us uh, we will make a server connection from here so now I, I would like to show you how to uh, connect uh, Jasper server from Jasper studio okay 
uh, just uh, I will uh, create uh, select and create button then Jasper server Jasper report server name ho name will be Jasper report server then localhost uh, Jasper report server URL port is 8081 uh, hopefully you can see that uh, if I hit logout button uh, then you will see localhost colon 8081 Jasper server or something okay uh, Jasper localhost colon 8081 Jasper server okay then uh, here I put Jasper admin Jasper admin username th those username and password I will already provided in Jasper server login okay so I will hit on test connection then connection successful uh, so this is ready uh, to connect Jasper report server so I will hit finish button then uh, uh, I will delete this Jasper server pro version so I will delete it and uh, this will uh, make discrepancy so delete uh, I would like to delete local folders also okay I just uh, oh, I just want to uh, retain this folder here so now I hit uh, the publish button again then uh, this will there is no error present so uh, let's see uh, it's time to compare so uh, I put Jasper admin user ID and Jasper admin password here then I put login button uh, press login button then uh, this folder structure uh, present uh, magically you will uh, see that the same folder structure present here also so this is nothing else uh, than the this folder structure uh, uh, already appear in via using Jasper report server connection okay I just put it in uh, let's see uh, I just put it in DMS uh, which I created here so this folder I access from here also okay I, I click on J DMS so I named the report as parse info uh, same name as uh, the report name so nothing else I just uh, copy the copy it and uh, place it as description same as usual nothing uh, should change so I will hit the next button then uh, here it would like to ask me to uh, the data source uh, the data uh, will get from where so um, first of all um, uh, data source or is data source data source okay first of all I would like to uh, go my local data source using but uh, here in Jasper report server pro uh, I uh, had uh, data source options here so I just click here and uh, uh, if I would like uh, to create add resource data source okay I can also add data source from here so I, uh, I just click data source and uh, Jasper uh, report server uh, provide me a, a panel to create a data source need new data source so I just use uh, uh, JDBC so uh, I would like to see Oracle uh, database connection Mm, but uh, there is no TIBCO present so uh, I would like to use so JDBC so I would like to integrate uh, Oracle JDBC driver so uh, it would be XE my database SID so I would like to username DMS password DMS okay I don't know if uh, if it uh, give me some error I will fix it later now I would like to see what happened exactly so uh, this al already say that uh, not install because it's a uh, it uh, not f find any driver here so I would like to uh, provide the driver so choose file so uh, I would like to provide the driver location where I already provided in our Jasper Studio then I, I go to Jasper Studio then Jasper server then Apache Tomcat then uh, library then OJDBC okay uh, open it and uh, upload it uh, uploaded successfully so uh, now I think uh, there is no problem 
so this is uh, there is an uh, error so why this error happened uh, my okay uh, I just save it uh, data source uh, uh, just name it at DMS one so description are also provide the DMS one copy control V so I save it <coughs> as DMS one uh, I, uh, I would like to test the connection uh, so uh, I just uh, go again here and uh, data source data source from repository so uh, I just go to data source DMS one finish then I hit finish button then uh, my reports is uh, already successfully submitted to Jasper report server okay then uh, this is the step uh, of uh, providing Jasper um, pro uh, submit or publish Jasper report to Jasper report server this is the complete step so now I'd like to check the uh, data is uh, uh, that I found or not in Jasper report server I just hit on library button so uh, there I uh, already got my report so I just click on this report and uh, hopefully uh, there is an error because of uh, my driver is not connected uh, actually so I just uh, go to ag uh, I just go again but if uh, my data connection is appear then you will see the same output as this report in here okay so this is the uh, simplest way of uh, manage managing or creating the uh, the Jasper report uh, in Jasper Studio and publish it to database server. So this is the uh, all I would like to teach you. So I will fix this uh, issue and uh, hopefully uh, in next video when I will develop more report then I hopefully I will fix this connection and uh, you will get the uh, required uh, or you will see the same output as Jasper Studios reports and the Jasper server reports uh, similar way so thank you so much uh, welcome uh, back again uh, to my another video uh, incoming video in my next tutorial so those who are not subscribed my channel still and uh, uh, please subscribe my channel and uh, uh, pray for me for my good health and uh, uh, for better output if uh, I can provide to you <sighs> so so today after this uh, so please pray for me so thank you so much uh, we'll see you in next tutorial uh, after this Allah bless